What is going on, you all? Today, we're going to learn how to get that audio delay, lag, input lag, latency, whatever it is you want to describe it in that formality where the webcam is just not syncing in with the audio. We're going to go ahead and help you out with that ASAP capability. And this is usually for console streamers, but it can work if you're using a headset mic in general. So let's get right into it. Ready for flight. <laughs> The first thing you want to do is be able to start off on fresh on the Xbox. Now, when you started on the Xbox, you're going to um, have everything unplugged and you're starting brand new. Don't just have it on a power save mode. Have it all the way unplugged because you want to restart and ensuring all your servers are ready to go. And assuming that you are hardwired, uh, um, you want to be hardwired to help you out in everything that's going on. Next, you want to unplug the webcam. Uh, the USB webcam, rather it's in the front of the Xbox or the back of the Xbox, and you want to replug it back in as soon as your Xbox is on. When your Xbox is on, that's when it really, really helps and it resets itself and it's able to get back to its default settings. Don't worry about anything else. Just unplug it simply, wait a little moments, and then just plug it right back in. Next, you want to get into your game, sign into your profile, assuming you're, you're signing into your Xbox Live profile, and you, uh, you sign in all the way. And then you get into the game, for example, Call of Duty, you log in, sign in, get into the main menu where you're going to go into the Warzone aspect, our duo, trios, BDR squads, etc. So do that. Be all the way in where they're walking stock format. All right. So you're in the game now. Next, you hit your home button, go to the Twitch app, get into the Twitch app. Twitch app, assuming you have everything locked in from the stream keys, you're going to have certain menus for your game chat, party chat, audio, etc. Now, when you're doing that, you're going to hit something called bitrate. It's automatic. It reads all your servers and makes sure that no delays are happening and make sure that everything is on point and on cue. So hit that, hit the automatic button. You have to click it. Don't just pass by it. And then you start your stream, title your stream, and then you hit start streaming. When you hit start streaming, it shows your menu bar where it goes zero minutes and zero viewers. But we all know you're going to have a lot of viewers, right? So it starts off zero, zero, boom. At that moment, this is assuming, now this is the hardest part. Now you go back to home, you get back to the game, and now everything is streaming, right? After that, you're supposed to be having your headset plugged in the whole time while this is happening. Like if you're just going to just jump on stream, right? Just everything's good. You want to use your headset mic, your webcams already restarted. But here's the thing, Twitch automatically when you do a headset mic, it jumps you in from the Twitch app as a console streamer. It jumps you into a delay from the jump. So what you have to do is start off, have the noise coming in through your headset. You know, listen, wait for a while. Let the stream kind of go on for about a minute or two. Then all you got to do is simply unplug the bottom and you wait again for a few moments. So with this, I would highly recommend you uh, distract your audience. I'd highly recommend you do things that can help you out and just uh, just kind of dance. What I do, I just dance a little bit, unplug it for about a minute or two. You simply plug it back in, allow for the, the noise to get back into your headset, the volume, the game settings, the controls, whatever it is you may be after you customize everything to your favor on settings or on the Twitch settings. Then when you hear it right back coming through your headset, speak again and what you would need to do is just have something around you to monitor it. You can use your phone and use the Twitch app or you can use a laptop, whatever it may be. Um, and so your audio would be connected at that time. I've done it several times and I've also got a questions and DMs about how I'm doing it through the Twitch app with console streaming without a latency perspective. So it's not your headset. It's not your webcam. It's just it starts off from the jump. You unplug from the bottom, plug it back in. And I just want to thank you all for the questions. And I hope that this helped. If it does help, ensure that you subscribe to the channel. Turn on bell notifications because I'm helping out smaller creators uh, just being able to get from the jump. And there's not a lot of videos on uh, console streaming as it is very new still. And I want to be able to just help you all out to the most extent as I can. So my name is Tim Still. I also stream on Twitch on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays from 6 to 8 p.m. And then on Mixer on Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. <laughs> Hit me up and I appreciate you all so much. Peace.